This is true. This is true. Firestone is a nuclear physicist. And, you know, when he started finding evidence of a catastrophe all across North America, you know, he went with what he knew. But in a true scientific fashion, when new solid evidence was presented against his original ideas, he he went through the process and, and he found that, that it was not a nuclear event or anything like that, that something else had to have happened. And that's what science does. You know, we have our ideas, we have our observations, we, we form a hypothesis, we test that hypothesis, you collect and analyze your data, you, you uh, form a conclusion, and if you find that your original hypothesis was not supported by the evidence, then you have to change your hypothesis. And that's, that's exactly what he did. You know, those are qualities of a really good scientist. So with that in mind, you know, between 2001 and 2007, uh, Rick Firestone and 25 other co-authors were able to fine-tune that hypothesis uh, before, before writing their paper. Was everything about the Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis 100% correct in 2007? No, probably not. But was it far from nonsense? Yeah, yeah, they, there was a lot, lot to it. So it's been comments like this that have been a thorn in the side of the uh, Younger Dryas Impact Hypothesis for over a decade. But has that stopped them from pumping out paper after paper? Nope. Huh. We'll be getting to that here, here shortly. <laughs> 